Signs of strong winds are obvious in Tom Burstowski's front yard in Madisonville. Two large pine trees uprooted sometime overnight. Brostowski says he didn't hear them fall, but is glad they didn't hit his house. Probably cost about $1,000 to uh, get rid of them now, but uh, um, that said. Brostowski says in the decades he's lived in this home, this isn't the first time trees have come down. Well, every believe it or not, every time they fell, they fell that way. That's pretty lucky. Yeah. Just up the road, this vehicle in a neighbor's yard didn't fare so well in the wind. A tree coming down on top of it, smashing the roof and the windshield. Not far away in Covington Township, Isabel Maldonado says her family barely got any sleep listening to the howling winds around their home. You heard like the branches over there fell, the trees were knocking down. Were you worried about, I guess, trees coming down on your property? Yeah, actually, we were up with that one. It was, it was crazy. After the winds died down, the only sound outside the Maldonado home was the rumbling of a generator. <laughs> Maldonado says they fired it up when the power went out last night. Thank God we do, because if not, um, it was really cold. It was cold, though. It was bad. Yeah. I haven't experienced that, and it was scary. The kids were scared. Power was restored in this part of the North Pocono area by the afternoon. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.